Hi Capricorn, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you a bonus tarot reading. So I want to thank you so much for joining me and um, I want to remind you as always, this is a timeless read, uh, or not always, but in this case it's timeless. So whenever you're drawn or guided to this reading, it's most definitely meant for you. And uh, it is a general bonus read, so just take what resonates and don't stress over what doesn't. I did receive an overall message for you for this reading. And interestingly enough, um, interestingly enough, if I could speak, the message for you is you get what you want. It's about time. You get what you want. It's about time. Let's aim on down and pull some cards. This should be interesting. Alrighty, Capricorn, let's begin by pulling uh, some tarot. We're going to, um, wow, I can't speak in your energy for some reason. Um, but we're going to just strictly stick to tarot for this. A little bit different in the way that I read, if you're used to my readings. But let's begin for my lovely Capricorns. Okay. Interesting, we have a lot to begin. Don't get so nervous when people um, tell you the truth that's coming out. Interesting. Didn't mean to say that. So we're beginning with the Six of Swords here. It feels like you have a lot to decide, a lot to balance out with the Two of Pentacles, but you just will need to do it in a relaxed and calm manner as you're pushed to remember. You're going to get what you want, however that pertains to you. With the Six of Swords, you need to leave what doesn't work for you. You're going to find yourself sort of speeding towards completion, speeding towards success, the new, what you desire in a lot of ways, even if those desires just now or moving forward will become obvious. It feels like you've been very out of touch with what you truly want in a lot of ways, even if you don't think so, okay? Some of which you might realize you desire, and other times you will... Um, it just feels like sometimes you do realize what you want in other ways you don't. Moving on. Uh, key wording. Moving on. Time to leave the past behind. Time to realize that you're moving into a new stage of your life uh, soon enough if it hasn't already happened. Allow yourself to remember that once you move on from a situation that isn't working for you or hasn't for a while, you're going to get what you want. You may even find that towards the end of that situation you get what you want. When you separate yourself from what no longer suits you or aligns with you as an individual who continues to grow and develop, you'll get what you want, all right? Um, it's like a blockage is removed or that weight is removed in a lot of ways. You're pushed to take some time to rest to figure out what you truly want with the Four of Swords to release that defensive sort of feisty or anxious way of being through rest, replenishment, self-care, however it works for you. Your health is quite important at this time. I've definitely said that in your readings before. You're going to find at times you feel very cold or icy. It's whether it's your demeanor or you just find that your spiritual presence, even if you don't know it, is leaving you feeling a bit cold at times. It happens to me all the time. You just will have to uh, find a way to warm up. It's not going to benefit you health-wise uh, for uh, to be cold in a lot of ways. You're going to stumble upon your words moving forward, but it's purposeful. Sometimes you're being spiritually prevented from saying something you shouldn't or wording something in the wrong way to move you towards a, a lot of success and to help you get what you want in a conversation or in a situation in general. Okay, um, did I say that repeatedly? Anyways, you're going to repeat yourself as well. You're almost going to feel like at times you blink out in the middle of a conversation, but it's because you're pushed to... Um, allow for things to transpire in the way they were meant to or because you're meant to exit a conversation before it goes in the wrong direction. You need to allow yourself to rest, Capricorn. Rest, my uh, beautiful soul. Interesting reading. I told you this is going to be um, one unlike any other. Uh, and they're saying now that you are one like un unlike any other and you need to remember that. Other people re recognize that around you for the most part. But if you don't recognize that, it's going to come off as a lack of confidence or a lack of stability within oneself, right? Allowing yourself to remember with the Eight of Cups, it's time to sail away, walk away from people, situations who no longer work for you. You're going to find yourself, especially if you're in a spouse kind of situation, married or living with somebody, you get up in the middle of the night, you walk towards the window and look up at the moon. And that's going to be a moment for you where you learn something about yourself 
that you wouldn't learn with this individual. Um, it reminds you also why you're with them. That's not for everybody, obviously, but you're going to find yourself at the very least being pushed to walk uh, down an individual path towards uh, different people, situations, a level of health, maybe even simplicity before complex, uh, a level of um, complication or just a more complex way of living comes into play. It's like that preparation, that rest before this beautiful storm comes to be. You're reminded that once again, there's somebody in your life who has been holding you back. I don't care if you've known them since childhood. You'll figure out who it is moving forward. Some of you will recognize throughout this reading. They're not going to do you any justice. And I'm not talking about your spouse. Uh, for some of you, it might be. It depends on your situation. But for the majority of you, it's somebody like a friend or an acquaintance or somebody who just keeps popping back up from time to time. Um, allow yourself to remember that doing what's right for you will help you get what you want. People can't uh, get in the way of Capricorn succeeding down the line. But with the Seven of Cups, you're going to find that you have a lot of options. You leave someone behind, you think it's a mistake to an extent, or you find yourself questioning it at a certain point, and then you get seven to ten options, or you meet a bunch of people, right? You, or this could be you leaving a job that didn't work for you, and then all the meanwhile, um, you find yourself getting a ton of options, and it feeling sort of uh, pure and golden and magical as things transpire in the way they're meant to. There's going to be somebody toxic in your midst. You need to be aware. They haven't come into your life yet. All right. But it feels like you're going to need to walk away from some of these options in order to feel less weighed down, less stressed. You may be more empathic than you realize as you're pushed to remember to have patience, to balance things out, to get a tattoo when you want to. Live your life, Capricorn. Live your life in the design, what it is. Don't stress over what other people think or someone else's opinion. You may care about the individual and their opinion or multiple people. Just get it. Okay, there's going to be a magical feeling in your life moving forward, even when you rest. Trust in your dreams and discard the ones that scare the shit out of you. Okay, Page of Cups, as well as the Four of Pentacles, you're going to need to release a level of control as you're pushed to take a step in a fresh emotional way. Okay, as you're pushed to start fresh emotionally as well. Uh, it feels like you've had a lot of emotions built up and scattered around within you up until this point. You may have just sort of uh, made situations a little bit sour or not as successful due to certain emotional rants or just the way you go about it or just wrapping your emotions up in things. That won't happen moving forward. Spirit's not going to allow it uh, or it's just they're going to prevent it in a lot of ways. You're going to find that your need to control at times will put a weight on a situation like a spouse situation or a work, uh, a job situation, once again, that uh, isn't going to help. Once you release your control, you get what you want. Spirit in the universe is trying to teach you a lesson, and please take that in the best light. It's to allow you to remember that you don't need to feel like you need to tighten your grip or just control other people's situations or even things that you can't to the point where it doesn't end up in your favor, right? Or at least not fully. A reminder through lessons, synchronicities, other people even mirroring you, um, that when you release that grip, go with the flow and just do what's right for you and your loved ones. And trust, you know, the, the path of yourself and, and your loved ones. You get what you want. And it's about freaking time, right? Quite a lesson. Um, I just heard a powerful one. Nonetheless, with the Page of Pentacles, there's going to be a level of uh, you feeling satisfied financially moving forward feeling quite uh, taken care of in a lot of ways, feeling happy, your happiness becoming quite apparent. I need to remember that even when you lose your breath or feel a bit stressed over money or the future of things or where you're going to live, it's all going to work out. It's all going to work out. You're guided, you're protected. And it feels like more than one person in your life will be there for you to help you along the way. If you stumble or just can't figure out a decision or where to move, you know, how to stable your finances, but you also need to trust within what you know instead of always or more than once looking to someone for assistance or to ask them questions about how to deal with your finances or this or that. You've become such a uh, bold and wise soul over time up until this point that you need to trust what you already know within. And even that intuition, when it pops up, when you get that gut feeling, at times you think you're just getting anxiety but or this sort of upset stomach. But it's really your intuition, your body, your system speaking up and saying, 
that that's not the right choice. You know better than to spend money on that, or you know better than to let that, pers that person back in, okay? Or to associate with a, that type of individual. Don't stress. You'll know. To two of swords, and to remind yourself all the meanwhile, to uh, put your guard down, to not feel like it's always a battle, or you have to sort of defend yourself as things will feel a bit heavy at times, but you're pushed to remember that you don't deserve the weight on your shoulders, or to feel like things are 10 times heavier than they actually are. Your view on things, your emotional approach on things definitely weighs you down at times, and you're going to realize that that will change because you will see when that isn't the approach or the way you view things or overthink things, you get what you want, okay? But all the meanwhile, you're going to find that a king of pentacles in your life, even if at times you don't view them that way, uh, they're already in your life, is going to assist you in ways that are unima unimaginable when it comes to your growth. A select few of you, they haven't entered yet. It doesn't have to be love, okay? But they're at least going to teach you something about your money, your relationship with money. And it's going to help you feel more stable, less attached to certain results and outcomes to sort of adjust your expectation when moving towards your uh, certain goals, completion of which. With the Four of Cups, you're not going to be in the mood at times, especially when things are feeling heavy, or you're going to find yourself pushed by the universe and spirit to reject or just separate yourself from what feels quite heavy, whether it's energy, situations, people. Don't allow yourself to feel the need to say yes or just to allow that situation or those people into your life just because uh, you want to be a good person or just because they seem nice or you got to do what's right for you, okay? Things have been heavy long enough. It's so one last and final one. You're putting uh, an end to what no longer works for you in one way, shape, or form, or the very least spirit in the universe is putting an end to you feeling like you always have to weigh things out on your own, always have to feel weighed down, or just putting an end to that heavy feeling uh, step by step, day by day, and we're putting an end to you never getting what you want, or at least feeling that way. It's time for Capricorn to finally get what they want. It's been long enough, all right? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, I hope you have an amazing day, week, and month. Sending you love and light, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Capricorn.